is me, Riley Shaw, and today we're going to do In the Kitchen. And as though right now I'm not in the kitchen, I am in my room. And um, I'm going to do baking dough, but I'm not going to do like the dough for you to play, but it's a dough called baking dough. And you can play with it too, but it's for you to do baking. But I'm going to use it to play, like play dough, but it's not play dough. So yeah, so here's the ingredients. You need a bowl, spoon, <laughs> some wheat corn, or work corn, whatever you call it. It's not oil, it's work corn. Some flour, and water. Not too much though. So first, I wanna pour um, I'm gonna do two doughs, so I got too much. I got a lot of flour down here. So I'm gonna put a little bit here. Okay. Put the flour in here. Then add some wheat corn. One, two, three. Then add a little bit of water. Oh my gosh, so fast. Oh my gosh. you don't add too much. Try to get water in it. And it won't feel sticky and icky and all that. Once you reach to a certain part, which will be looking like this. Very doughy. And you're just gonna set a spoon aside. And then take it up and then squish it like so. Oh my gosh. You don't want to add too much water before it gets sticky all over your hand. And if it's sticky, you're just going to add some flour into the bowl. Drop it in. Mix it. Ta da! Now the consist. You're gonna like squeeze it out until it's the consistency like dough. Must be flour. 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 If you feel sti um, very sticky to your hand, means you add too much water. You don't want to add too much water. <laughs> Dancing. Yeah. Squeeze it. And um, uh, 
you. I'm just going to tell you guys that on this video I'll be doing baking, gymnastics, and family vlogs, and acting. Known as my friend slash cousin slash sister will be acting with me to make you guys laugh like you pretend to be somebody. This this week theme is bacon, so I have to do bacon. So later on the next channel, I'll be doing cupcakes, and you'll hear my grandma speaking Chinese. She'll be teaching us how to do cupcakes, and you guys will hear my grandma telling us what to do, what to do, what to do. So you make sure you do it like consistency, like do. Of course. If it's too, it's too sticky to your hand. Add more flour. A consistency. Like, though, you want to get yourself, like, a plastic bag or a bowl and then you're gonna cover it up so that it doesn't dry up that way you can't play with it anymore yeah. which is the consistency of dough put it into the plastic our neighbor is constructing their house, so you'll be hearing noises around here. Put it into a plastic bag and let it set for 10 to 15 minutes before playing with it. Put it aside. Now to wait for that, I'm going to do the other one. Do the same thing. Put all the dough in. Put all the flour. Sure. Add the v-corn and then add water. Okay, now start. Here's the consistency of the tool. Oh gosh, again, it's so fast. Look at that. Oh gosh. Now you're, re you're just ready to like squash the hand in there. Take out the last back, left, left back, and this one, and put it down. Put it down. Okay. Set your and then grab your hand in there. Consistency of door here. I'm gonna add a little bit of water. Too much because my hands are already wet. Get it. Not wet. So when you got the wet hand, you can go print at your door. Squash your door wet. And you want to grab all your sideways door up all the way to your big door. That way, you got the correct consistency at door. Like door. Quishy, quishy. Think that too much? That's okay because we got two of it. So I'm gonna mix two of it together and make a big one. There, now the door. Did it. Squishy, ishy, squishy, wishy, fishy, 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 for 10 to 15 minutes. Now that I wait to 10 to 15 minutes, pour the other one out. Come on. Here you go. Now, mix them two together, because they're really perfect match. Yeah, perfect match. Oh, 
what in. Now that you got your dough and completely the consistency of dough. You can play with it. Play, 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 play. Okay, you can also add coloring food dyes I added it to the dough. But I don't want to because they will make my hand messy. And also tonight we are gonna do cupcakes. I told you that already, did I? Yeah, and gra gra Grandma will be talking a lot, so I just really want to warn you again. Do not listen to her, just ignore her, because she's just shouting a lot to teach us what to do. And if you do something wrong, scream worse than that. You can make cookie dough, too. I'm very... I'm having a fever. You can go down to your grandma. I'm having a fever. Actually, I am. Now my dough is so hot. When when you put your dough on, it actually feels good. And whenever you have chicken pox or anything like that, you can make dough and then rub it on people's body because it feels good. Yeah, yeah. Rub it on. Like making dough. When I was a little girly girl with chicken pox. I chicken pox two times because one, my friend had it and she passed it to me. And the other one was when I was um, having my, um, oh my God, I having my own chicken pox. And my, my um, aunt brought door and then she, she, I feel like I when she took off my shirt and then she, Rub it all over my body and it's very ticklish too. And kind of not ticklish. Cause when you have chicken pox, you feel itchy, so they scratch, scratch on you. And then you feel, ah, oh, do more, do more. But now you feel ticklish, just feel ticklish. So though is a good thing for you. You can play it too. You can't want to throw a snowball. Oops. Don't listen to me on that one. I got this on my bed. And I got this on my bed. And the door is alive. Bye-bye. Oh, oh no. Thanks for watching this channel. I'm going out there and get my... Bye-bye.